41 days after that stunning claim by President Trump and a bizarre refusal to clarify what he meant when he tweeted on the morning of May 12th that fired FBI Director, quote, James Comey better hope that there are no, quote, tapes of our conversations before he starts leaking to the press, unquote. President Tr Trump finally tweeted that he personally did not make and does not possess any such tapes. Though we should point out his denial does leave open the possibility that some tapes exist, just not ones made by him or owned by him. The admission, such as it is, coming one day before the congressional deadline to produce whatever tapes might exist. Now, it is unclear why the president made that initial tweet. Was it bluster, witness intimidation, a desire to pressure Comey to be as truthful as possible? Either way, the plan seems to have backfired. Comey later testified that that tweet prompted him to have an associate share with a reporter some details from a memo that Comey wrote describing President Trump asking him to let the investigation into Michael Flynn go. But the notion of tapes for Comey, that tweet, that made him excited. And he says he wanted to get that conversation out there. I woke up in the middle of the night on Monday night, because it didn't dawn on me originally, that there might be corroboration for our conversation. There might be a tape. And my judgment was I needed to get that out into the public square. And so I asked a friend of mine to share the content of the memo with a reporter. Didn't do it myself for a variety of reasons, but I asked him to because I thought that might prompt the appointment of a special counsel. And Comey's plan worked. That tweet began a course of actions that resulted in the appointment of special counsel Robert Mueller, Washington, D.C.'s Inspector Javert. So not a great strategy, President Trump. After the president's admission today, the White House held a press briefing in which cameras were banned and the audio was not provided live. Rather, it was released after the fact, which is odd and unusual. And this is about more than just one weird claim of tapes. This is part and parcel of a White House trying to operate in something close to an accountability-free zone where they don't have to go on TV live and defend aberrant behavior on Twitter or explain the false things that the president says at rallies before supporters, things like this said last night in Iowa about the Paris climate deal. And they all say it's non-binding. Like hell, it's non-binding. It's non-binding. It is. That's just, that's just a fact. You know who told me that? A really good senior administration official source. As of today, the United States will cease all implementation of the non-binding Paris Accord the non-binding Paris Accord. I would ask the president about this inconsistency, but he is limiting his interviews, generally excluding all but the friendliest of media outlets. At the same time, his White House is limiting televised press briefings and answering basic questions. Instead saying, the president has been very clear when he has been anything but, or responding, the tweet speaks for itself, when the tweet most certainly does not, as was made clear just today.